Before he gets back. All right. <clears throat> I just played a brand new game called Final Fantasy VII, which was just released on the PlayStation 4. And it's one of the worst games I've ever played. So you know what that means. Let's find the positives. <laughs> The last time I played a Final Fantasy game was Final Fantasy III on the Super Nintendo. But for some reason, Squaresoft decided to skip a whole bunch of entries in the game and jumped straight to 7. I mean, what the hell's the reason with that? So for the rest of this review, I'm going to be calling this game by its real name, Final Fantasy IV. I think one of my biggest complaints about the game is that the graphics look really, really weird. Like they're really old school and bad textures and stuff. And then on top of that, they don't even use the whole screen. <laughs> I mean, come on guys, even I know how to make aspect ratios in 16 by 9. Just like this. All the other Final Fantasy games I've ever played, like Final Fantasy 1, 2, and 3, well, they take place in mystic fantasy worlds. You know, people with swords and shields and that kind of stuff. But for some reason, this game takes place in Chicago. I don't know why, but there you have it. It's a Chicago Final Fantasy. And it's a little bit grimy and dirty. And the really weird thing is the main character is Cloud, and, and he's not a Cloud, he's a real person, so that name doesn't make sense. And he's got a really strange haircut, like it just booms out of his head. And I don't know, the whole game is just a mess though. Everything about it is just wrong. But don't worry guys, like Shane, I found four positives that really stand out. So here we go. Right at the beginning of this game, Cloud falls off a train, and at that point, I was really depressed because I felt like I wasted my money. But then somebody shows up. Now, the game calls him Barrett, but that isn't Barrett, that's Mega Man. Take a look at his hand there, guys. That right there is a gun hand. That's exactly what Mega Man has. So this game has Mega Man. Isn't that awesome? So the first positive is that Mega Man is in Final Fantasy IV. Now, I'm not a big fan of many of the enemies in this game because they look like big robots. But if you pay close attention, you'll notice that the main villain is something really cool. See, me, I'm all about diversity. And I like to see females and males in different roles in games. And it's really cool to see a female as the lead villain in this game. Her name is Sephiroth, and she's got long silver hair and a big sword. There's nothing cooler than a girl with a big sword. So the second positive is that the main villain in this game is a girl. Anyone that's played any video game ever hates buddy systems. You know, AI buddy systems where you have to watch over somebody that really, really sucks. Well, in this game, they did something really cool. So you've got this buddy character that's supposed to be coming around with you all over the place named Aerith, and she's just a weakling. She plays with like flowers and mystical orbs and stuff like that, and it's never really fun. And about the time I started to really, really hate her and didn't want anything else to do with her, Sephiroth comes out from the sky and stabs her in the chest. It was a Amazing! It's like the game developers knew exactly which characters I hated and wanted to get rid of them for me. That's just foresight right there. So the third positive is that Aerith gets stabbed in the chest. Now guys, I know I complained a little bit about the graphics earlier on, but you gotta hear me out here because I think this positive is really cool. Now, I'm a big fan of comic books. I like this one character named Shazam or Captain Marvel, and Captain Marvel is this young little kid named Billy Batson, and he has this like thing that he does that he turns into this big superhero that's kind of like Superman. It's actually pretty cool, and Final Fantasy IV is all about the Shazams. See, everybody in this game are kids for some reason, and when they get into a fight, they turn into adults. It's actually really cool. I wish they would have showed you the transformation sequence, but you know, I get it. You gotta leave something to the imagination. And they totally did that completely right in this game. It's one of the best features of the game, having kids turn into adults to fight other adults. It's pretty cool. So the fourth positive is that everybody in this game is like Shazam. So, as you can see, Final Fantasy IV has got a couple of really good things going for it, but overall, I don't think it's a very good game, especially if you're a longtime fan of Final Fantasy like I am. Anyway, guys, thanks the hell for watching. What are you doing and, in my house? Oh, no. Get out of here! Oh, no. Get out of here! Oh, what, are you, what are you people doing here? Are you shooting. What?